out of Kaduna State with regards to this developing story, especially for today. We hear that uh, perhaps today they will be reuniting uh, this children with their families. Uh, but then the president has said that uh, he is going to ensure that schools are safe and that uh, this matters of kidnapping do not continue because it's have become a major concern for a lot of parents. Um, yes. Um, the first thing I want to really uh, talk about is the number. Mm. Uh, we're hearing 287 Seven. and all of that. Uh, how come that number became sacrosanct without it being investigated. Right. Who put it in the Holy of Holies without anybody finding out whether there was actually an, an iniquity in the number? That's the problem. Mm. It's a problem of the media that such a number persisted. It means that nobody went to the school to find, to out, find out, you know, how many people in this school? Who are the names? Who are the identities? What are the, the identities of these people? This is a, a media problem. The school, too. The school didn't come out to say we don't have such, such a number of people missing in our, in our institution. The government, too, did not even do anything mm -hmm. to say these numbers are not really what the numbers are. It's, it is a one of the, it's, it's a major problem about statistics. Statistics is a major part of administration, it's a major part of, uh, of uh, emergency, it's a major part of, of planning for the future, and so on. Absolutely. We have to learn going forward to get the numbers right. So people were saying, okay, 137, if you rescue 137, what's, what of the rest of, of our 100? Yeah. Then it was a little girl mm -hmm. that came to the rescue. A student coming to the rescue of the teachers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's terrible. Well, the other thing about this is, is, that, is, that, is that the question is still there. It's what they call reaction time in the military. Mm. When something happens, when did the military know about it? They said that the when people did not inform react, them in time. Yes, they didn't inform them in time. But these people were moving, they're not moving, they're not, they're not, they were not in a supersonic jet mm -hmm. going to their destination. They were in Okada. One person probably carrying four people in one of these, you know, super wired native Okadas, carrying them from village to village. And the speed is not as that of, you know, it's not the speed of Toyota. Mm. Eh? And we have to ask the question, what is the North doing to itself mm. that it needs this kind of thing to continue to happen? Mm. If there is what they call civic coercion going on in the North, what I mean by civic coercion is that the society knows that it has to force itself to save itself. You won't need the soldiers. You won't need intelligence agencies. All you need is to know that the people are committed to their own freedom, mm -hmm. to their own peace, to their own security, to their own, to their own uh, prosperity. But when village after village continues to house these hoodlums, and you want the security forces to help you. Anywhere in the world, the great security people are the locals. When the locals fail, security fails. Do you not see it from uh, an angle that some of these perpetrators, some of these terrorists are probably not Nigerians? Maybe they came out from different you know, bordering communities, you know, the Niger and et cetera, to other places. So coming into Nigeria and looking at a vast expanse of you know, um, land. land that are not governed and not you know, occupied by you know, ordinary citizens. Do you not feel that this might be one of the challenges they are facing in the north, which is making it difficult for them to... If foreigners come courage. to your territory... And the terrain. Mm. If foreigners come to your territory, don't you identify them? We have seen many of these happen in the southwest, mm. where the time 
over time, identified people who do not belong there. You cannot even say though that they speak, the even though they speak almost the same language. You cannot say that the full who comes from Futa Jalan. Is the full who comes who is, who is in Sokoto or who is in who is in uh, Borno or who is in Sokoto? You, there are cultural traits and there are accent traits that you can always use to identify people who are different. You have your bars. When you hear when you hear Ekitima speak, you know that this is a, a Yoruba, but it's an Ekitima in Lagos or in Ijebula. You know it's an Ekitima or a Ijebuma speaks in a Ondo. You know that it's an Ijebuma in Akura. There's also the immigration aspect of it. Mm -hmm. The immigration people know a lot of people coming in and out. They have records and they should have records. There are ways to track these things, but but we know that, that the, 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 the security, the intelligence aspect of it needs to be built up mm. because the DSS has agents in all the local governments in the country. Mm. Did any of these agents not see or know about these people moving from local government to local government? If they didn't see in there. The, the, the military said that um, the, the terrain was a difficult one when the children were kidnapped mm. and uh, people were calling for them to go after this person, mm. rescue the children, and they said that where these children were kept is uh, hard to get or hard to reach. I understand, I understand the, the, the er, problem areas, because, because yeah. these people will start to use them as shields. human shields. Yeah. You know, when, when they take them from one place to the other. They'll, they'll use them as human shields. But it is, it is easier. It is easier to stop them in transition mm -hmm. than when they have already settled. Now that they've, they've been able to get them, it would be very interesting to get the story about how you rescued 137 mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. when they are surrounded by anything. a gun. I mean, it would be a, str a stronger story than the raid at Entebbe. Mm -hmm. eh? It would be a great, a great military story. We want to see. That's why I'm. That's why I'm still asking them to tell us: Is this a release or a rescue? Because the vague language of coordinated effort between this and this. Why, that's why do you think, you're not there. Why do you think it's important to, to for us to know what really transpired? It's very important for us to know because it gives us a record of how these people are treated, mm. how they are, how they operate, and how to get them as a basis for further operations hmm. if necessary. It's very important because it becomes a documented story for strategies. Because military de de depends on history. They, they learn, they learn. When Napoleon came, he changed the whole idea of how to fight. Hmm. You know, whether asymmetry or not, not asymmetry, not asymmetry, it doesn't matter. You have to get new strategies, maybe you now have new strategies. But, but you know, the, tr the story we've always gotten is, uh, is that these persons were rescued. Recall what happened in Abuja when mm. the, the, the yeah. girls, that the family had to come out to say that they actually paid, paid some <laughs> yeah, monies. Yes, yeah. uh, and so if we begin to hear that that, was, that is what transpired, aren't we emboldening, aren't we emboldening these persons mm. at the end of the day? If you give them, give them money, you make them richer. They, they, they are the most re miserable rich people you have ever seen in the world. People who have a lot of money, who mm -hmm. live in shacks, mm -hmm. and whose wealth is based, is, is, is measured by how many people they kill, how much weapons they have. Yeah, not in the quality of life, not in the quality of health care. Not not quali that is not, that is their own, that is their own, their own uh, definition of wealth. Well, that's one theory, well, but others well, are well, you, know, you know, you know this man, uh, what is this, uh, Eric James in his novel, uh, The Portrait of a Lady, said, I, I consider people rich who are able to, who have enough money for their own freedom. That's what this is. But that's one theory. <laughs> so other, they, feel, they feel that they have money. Yeah, others, others believe that to. these people are actually working for on sin hands. Yes. You know, and that's the reason why we have some people who whose names have actually made it to the, you know, uh, and, um, terrorism financing, the financiers. Mm. So could it be that when they get this money, make this money, they return, they, they actually give returns to their sponsors? It's possible. Mm. It's very possible. 
but they buy a lot of weapons. Mm. The question is, these people we are talking about, somebody gives them food, somebody supplies them water, somebody gives them medicine. Who are they? We were here on this show when there was a story about people giving them comfort women. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Where? Who are all of these people? Mm. Eh? Yeah. So there, there is, is a complicit criminality mm. in those communities. That's why I ask the question, what is the North doing to itself mm. that it will allow its own security, its own peace, its own prosperity to fail? So nobody should come and say that the federal government uh, has neglected anybody or anybody wants to want to protest. Mm. The most important thing is that what are the rulers in the north? What are they doing to make sure that everybody is part of this security? Mm. Look at uh, Governor Sani is, 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 has been moving up and down, trying to make sure things are okay. We need people to do to have the same spirit of of Obasani. Mm. Let's take this this thing seriously. Mm. Right. Unfortunately, our time is up. There's not much that uh, we can say right now because of time, but uh, a lot of questions need to be answered as it is. The number, the differentials that you mentioned, how mm -hmm. it is that we got that number in the mm -hmm. first place, yeah. and it wasn't investigated at the end of the day, yeah. going to the school to ask questions. Yes. And then the major question, what is the North? Yeah, obviously, nobody got the lists from the school. From the school. Of, who are, what are the names? Who are the, if, if they did that, they would discover that it's not 287, but 137. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll have to leave this conversation here, but we must thank you, columnist Sam Omashaya, for your time on the program. Well, this is where we'll draw the curtains on the program for today. Let's let you know that the views and reactions of all our resource persons, ideas, and have no connection with TVC News. Up next is your view with the ladies, and afterwards is this morning.